Hey everybody, it's me. So I'm going into town to go to a Q-Carrot for them to look at my throat. So yeah, over the last week, like my throat's been getting raspier and raspier. And then this weekend was like hell. Um, like my throat actually hurt. Not my throat, like just the back of my throat. Not like my whole neck, like just back where you swallow. It feels better today, but man, I was like doing all the remedies all weekend and the Tylenol and the ibuprofen and the like chloroseptic throat spray. And I was praying at one point, like it was so painful. So anyways, even though I'm kind of feeling better, I'm still going to go and um, check it out, see what they say. <laughs> and and because I'm such such a mom, I'm also going to do a Walmart pickup, which I might want to get first. I didn't time this right at all. <coughs> yeah. So anyways, there's a bit of a cough and my ears kind of hurt. Which might be like from my throat but anyways just checking in because like I cannot read I like really struggled through that Daniel Scranton fairy post and I did it three octaves higher I did it way up here which might be a good idea for me to just talk like this from now on because it just takes the weight the strain off my throat you know what I think this is my new voice now I love it. This will totally work for me. But I don't really know if I should... Oh, there's somebody walking on the side of the road. I will watch out for him. Sir, please. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. No readings until my throat quits throwing me this banger. Because this is ridiculous. Of course, it always happens when I'm feeling super motivated. Of course, this always doesn't usually happen, so I don't know why I would say that. I said that because <laughs> this is my new voice. Ah. All right, I'm here. I picked up my Walmart first, like a good little girl. And I'm putting on my mask because I think they really want you to wear one. And I'm fucking sick, so now I kind of feel like I should. I haven't, I have not worn a mask at all this whole time. <laughs> Except to go into the liquor store. All right, so, um... I'll, let, I'll keep you posted. All right, so they're making me wait in the car because I have COVID symptoms, a sore throat. And even though I didn't have a fever at my house, they say it, my, fever, my temperature is 100 degrees. I'm not going to dispute that because the thermometer that I used is like 100 years old. So anyways, I'm just going to wait for my turn and see what they say. I mean, I'm here because I thought maybe I needed an antibiotic. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Hmm, no fun. I'm sitting here waiting to be released. They went on my nose. They put a thing up my nose and went, and I got the COVID test and it made my eyes water. And they, they, um, swabbed the back of my throat and they're calling me in an antibiotic and I have to quarantine for a few days and wait for the results. So anyways, they were like, do you want it or not? And I was like, well, I don't know. What do you think? And we did this for like a real long time. And then I finally was like, just do it. Just do it. Okay, now I'm, now I'm picking up my um, antibiotic that I'm not gonna take. Well, only because they did a quick strep test and it was negative. So they can send it away and, but I'm pretty sure this is viral. You know what I mean? Cause I already feel better. Like I feel so good, I'm gonna go get myself a Wendy's cheeseburger. But yeah, I think I'll just wait till I get my results back. Wouldn't you? What would you do? Would you start just taking an antibiotic even if like your initial quick test was negative? Or would you take it just to be safe? Like not safe because an antibiotic goes in there and kills everything. You know? Anyways, let me know your thoughts.
Thanks for choosing Wendy's. How may I help you? Um, one junior bacon cheeseburger. Okay. That's it. Two eleven. Thank you. Two eleven. All right, that leaves me with one dollar in my wallet, but that's okay because I'm not going anywhere this week because I guess I'm under quarantine because I agreed to a COVID test. But I mean, cur for curiosity's sake, aren't you curious? And guess what? It's really not as bad as everybody told me it was. Like having the thing stuck up your nose. It tickled and made my eyes water. <laughs> but when she did my throat swab, she was like, ah, ah, and I gagged. I gagged right on her. <laughs> Which sucks because she was already acting so freaked out. And she felt fearful. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to get my burger. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat it with my good water at home. Not this city water crap. And um, I'll keep you posted. But anyways... Until I sound a little bit better, I'm not going to be doing any Dan scrans. We'll just, we will, we will freaking, look how pink my face is though. We will totally do a Dan scran, um, a Daniel scran, like, a binge this weekend. Because surely I'll be fine by then, right? It's warm today. <laughs> Woo! Alright, I'm going to go get my burger. I'm happy about this. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to, that last fairy video, man, I was like talking way up here. We're not doing that. We'll just have to wait. You can watch him channel on his channel. You can read it and get his emails. You can Facebook him. Um, but then, yeah, hopefully I'll be feeling better. Okay, bye.